it's Ron back here with another video today on my Ron Brown's YouTube channel where we cover a lot of drone uh, stuff and other related tech gear. Uh, and lately we've been focusing a lot on the DJI uh, uh, Mini 3 Pro drone, the latest and greatest uh, mini drone on the uh, market. And um, what's been, I've been talking about this most of the week, um, the, uh, this is the uh, DJI RC, this is a controller that you can order with the Mini 3. Comes with a built-in screen, kind of like a baby smart controller here. And um, uh, last week, you know, maybe almost a week ago, I noticed on a uh, uh, app update, uh, an Apple iOS update, the Fly app got updated to 1.6.9. And um, you know, I, I shortly, you know, after I saw that my phone updated, I tried it on again the uh, DJI RC, and I cannot get the update past uh, uh, 1.68. And, um, but I, I did get my DJI RC Pro out, the, you know, the the more advanced versions with the uh, the brighter screen and more more function buttons and twice the weight of this out. And it did update itself to uh, 1.69. So, um, you know, I've been kind of checking this all week, like turning it on, you know, connected to Wi-Fi networks, you know, doing anything to kind of boot it over the 1.69. And uh, it just didn't happen. And, and, and last night I was talking to my uh, good friend, Greg Pittman, and he said, make sure you have the controller and the drone on at the same time. And I, I, I know I, I did that sometimes, but me not every time. So, uh, and today I got a ping from uh, my good friend, Sean over at Air Photography, and he let me know that uh, the update, uh, you know, hit... Uh, Hit his, uh, uh, you know, controllers and stuff, and uh, let me know that let me know that solved a lot of his issues. So, you know, uh, I, you know, as the tester as I am, I got either drone out, powered up, got the RC controller out, and uh, and, and you know, uh, but you know, it, uh, you know, it said once it got to that one screen, it said it had a, you know, uh, uh, an update or whatever, not a firmware update now, just the app update. And, uh, you know, it did do the app update. And uh, here's some of the file. And I did a little screen uh, shot. And I will put this in the video of some of the things it said here. Uh, this is remote controller. This is version for this is the RC, the remote controller uh, uh, firmware. Uh, version 01.01.0100. So there's a firmware update, not an aircraft firmware update, though. That stayed the same. And okay, for the DJI RC, here's some of the bullet points uh, for this um, firmware update. And again, again, it goes along with the app update of 1.69. Uh, it added support to identify the speed of SD card. Uh, SD cards with the slower speed rating than UHS-1 speed grade three are not supported. So what that's telling you there is if you use an older SD card that's like a, a one, has that one, you know, instead of the three on it. Let me see if I have uh, one here. I can, I could probably never get this in focus on the camera here. But here is, here is an older um, SanDisk card that is a uh, one. And let's see, see the ones over in the corner away from my, uh, probably can't get a focus, away from my finger. And uh, they're, what they're telling you is a one card, it'll be too slow. And and that probably calls, well, that's what they're saying. This is what Ron's saying. This is what I think DJI is insinuating here. That people use a one, one card, you know, uh, one rating instead of three, um, slower cards, we'll say, uh, is the reason people had, uh, you know, uh, their controller would crash, the fly app would crash, they would get frozen screens, they would get shuttering, uh, you know, uh, just all sorts of screen malfunctions. Again, all the way up to the app crashing and rebooting while you're flying and all that. That, you know, here I think they're attributing all that to people using slower SD cards. So I guess what they're saying here is, uh, this this will identify the cards and know right away and maybe even tell you on the screen that you are using too slow of a card. We'll, I'm going to put a slower card in and we'll, we'll, we'll test that out. Uh, so that, that's one big, if the, if, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, well, I had all those issues. I was using a, a, a U3 already. So, you know, what again, this isn't me saying. This is, I think, what DJI is trying to say. Okay, number two bullet point. Fixed issue. Screen flickering appeared when previewing photos and videos in playback. 
Now, um, I haven't seen that issue at all, um, and I don't know if that's attributed to slow uh, SD cards or not. And, and, and I, ha I didn't, you know, I haven't seen any of these issues. I haven't seen uh, the screen freezing, app crashing, stuttering, uh, you know, hiccuping, whatever you want to say. I haven't seen any issues on Bolt 1. I haven't seen issues on Bolt 2, but a lot of people have. Okay, three, fixed issue. System crash after extended use in some scenarios. So um, I guess that means the whole uh, app crashes, and which many people have reported that during a flight, the app crashes, and then fix the minor bugs. You know, you always got to have the fix the minor bugs bolt put in there. That bolt puts on every one. So uh, this is quite a substantial um, firm, uh, remote control upgrade, firmware upgrade. It's uh, 849.96 megabytes, and... Um, you know, and it takes, uh, you know, it doesn't take long to upgrade, uh, you know, uh, you know, get your fans out or whatever. You know, my, again, my drone, you know, it, it, get, it got somewhat warm in the desk, but not warm enough that I could pick it up or I was worried about it. You know, we always have the overheating issues. That's always a big hot topic here, too. So, um, yeah, I have one other screen recording that I want to grab for you here. Hold on. So this is my this is what my uh, about on the about uh, in the fly app on the about screen which is the screen on the far right hand side where you can see all your your kind of numbers so here's where my drone is at right now as far as all its firmware and apps and all that stuff my firmware um, aircraft firmware is 01.00.0201 my rc firmware is 01.01.0100 and my app version is 1.6.9 and my fly, fly safe database is 01.00.01.27 so um yeah i did everything just before i started kind of a few minutes before i started this video so that's the latest and greatest i can get on my uh you know rc remote and now uh, i haven't got a chance to test flight i hope to go out later this afternoon and test things of course i'm kind of a bad tester for the bug fixing things because I, I i didn't have any of the issues that it, that a lot of people have i luckily somehow got you know once people got the good controller i didn't get any of these issues but i will go out and see if maybe it, it caused some new issues or just made things work better maybe i did have some of these issues to a minor degree and i didn't think they were issues but maybe i'll notice that they're working better uh, with the new with the new uh, RC firmware, who knows? But I will go out and test it out. Uh, now I did hear that um, you know this uh, this thing this for, uh, RC uh, firmware it, it wipes all your settings out, so you have to go in and you know uh, you know do your you know set things like return to home altitude and maximum height distance, uh, camera settings, all of the things that you get all tuned in. Uh, supposedly this uh, wipes them all out. So I mean. Uh, I I haven't flown yet, but I will let you know. I'm going to come back, you know, hopefully tomorrow with, uh, you know, a little, uh, you know, a uh, screen recording of my flight, show you how things went and I'll show you these things. And another thing, I, I got this update from uh, my good friend Greg Pittman. He told me also this fixes the um, the problem with um, the port here. You have the, you know, the USB-C port over here that you use to power up the controller, but you also have a, the second port USB port beside the memory card slot there that used to be uh, people people used to be able to put a, a USB uh, microphone or headset in there and use it to record uh, uh, audio when they were doing their screen recordings and that got um, you know that stopped working a, a couple updates ago but supposedly according to Greg it's back working again uh, so that's a real good that's a big thing to a small amount of people that do do a lot of screen recordings of their flights and they want audio with it too mostly youtubers or whatever but i, I guess if you're not a youtuber some people still find you know some use of that some people may just want to narrate their videos even if they're just uh you know like a scenic video or something like that but um anyhow you, you suppose you have the ability to um monitor audio i will try to check that out you know i i you know i know i don't have a usb usb c like like a pair of headphones or whatever that I can stick in, but I think I have an adapter someplace. If I could find that thing, I will test that out in the field also. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's most of the information I can give you uh, uh, you know today on the um, 
you know, the uh, DJRC, and that's good news because this thing has uh, really perplexed a lot of people, um, you know, with a little bugs and stuff. Again, I, I, I luckily I haven't seen them, but a lot of people have. I mean, I did do, uh, and another thing too, uh, what Sean told me, he said that this, um, this update also solves that issue where um, uh, for Signal, uh, it was caught, people were having, you know, itch, you know, for uh, U.S. people or North American people, when they would take off, they were in the, um, you know, the regular mode, the North American mode uh, for, for signal. And once the drone would take off and, and hover in the air, it would drop to the, the, the CE mode, the European mode, which is at a less strong signal. And that's why they were having late range and signal issues or whatever. And there, Sean did have a hack and a workaround for it. He has a video on it over in his channel. But supposedly this update stops that from happening. So you will no longer go, you know, we'll say... Um, Try, I'm trying to, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, FCC here in the U.S., it, it stays in FCC mode now after you take off. It doesn't drop into CE mode. So um, I, I wasn't having a lot of range of signal issues in mine again, but I, I will test it out to see if the strength does seem sh stronger now that that has been fixed. So, again, a lot of stuff packed into this, um, you know, uh, RC firmware update along with that app update. So, um, you know, I hope this, you know, Makes a lot of people happy. This drone's like, you know, one of these, you know, uh, puzzling drones. A lot of people love it. Their drone works, you know, no issues. Other people have a whole bunch of issues. So I hope this was the firmware to get a lot of people over the hump of that. So, um, again, I won't go on on here, but um, I, I will be back, uh, you know, hopefully in a day or so with a... Um, uh, a, a flight, you know, uh, a, a, you know, flight I record uh, uh, to my... Um, you know, what I just said, a screen recording of a recent flight. You can see, um, you know, if I have any issues or anything's changed, um, you know, as far as any of, the, any of the bullet notes I gave you. So, okay, with that being said, I, I will get out of here. So I'm going to include the screenshots of, uh, you know, the the, up, the updates that I read off to you so you can stay moving for yourself. If you don't have one dot six nine, I guess you, you can grab it on, on, on you know, if you you have these just you make sure you got the drone and this boot up make sure you have the uh, wi-fi on preferably do it at home where you have a, a better wi-fi connection out in the field where you're relying on your you know cell phone but okay if you got anything out of this video give me the old thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already ring the bell notification and uh you know you got another button down there by the thumbs up you got that thanks button where you can contribute to the channel uh, as little as a dollar 99 and that really helps me out, helps me get new products and stuff in the review here. And just keeps the you know the lights on over here at uh, Ron Brown's YouTube channel. So uh, with with no you know with that being said, everybody get out there and have a great day.